thank you. Thanks to the committee. Thanks for, um, you know, all of you who are here to honor the people who are being selected tonight. Um, I'm joined here this evening by uh, my, my daughter, uh, Jennifer, Dr. Jennifer DeLynn, who's a MTU graduate, and, and her daughter, Stella, who's a, a USSA skier, and uh, the love of my life, my wife, Gail, who is by my side uh, just about every moment in, in the time that I was president. Um, as, as Wes indicated, I, I came into the presidency in uh, March of 2004, which is not the usual time when people usually <laughs> take over uh, a university. And, and at that time, uh, Gail and I had, uh, we had had hockey tickets over the years and gone to basketball games and, and gone to football games and things like that. And we really, uh, you know, what you, what you see when you go to these events is, is just like, it's just like the cream on the surface. Uh, and what I didn't understand until I got into the job was how much depth there is and how much uh, planning and organization and dedication uh, goes on in the background from a variety of different people. And um, in, nine, in 2004, well, the reason I was, came in as president is because things weren't going real well. Um, and uh, there was a, a real uh, storm of uh, budgeting that was going on. And as, uh, as Rick had indicated earlier, uh, there were a lot of decisions being made across campus and, and really athletics was caught in that whole vortex of, which was not going up, it was, it was going down. And uh, an interesting thing happened to me one day as I was in my office and, and uh, Roberta would usually try to, you know, kind of control who, who was coming into the office and everything, but uh, Bernie Anderson came up and uh, Bernie was not to be denied <laughs> access to uh, the president's office, and he said, and I, and I can't remember his exact wording, but it, but it, it was like, you should spend some time with the football team this fall. And, uh, and, I, and I'm not sure he invited me as much as he just told me that I should do this. And of course, Bernie was, you know, he was, uh, a big personality, and uh, he was not to be denied. And I said, sure, that sounds great. So we started off on, uh, you know, the end of practice on, on Friday, which is a non-hitting thing because the game's the next day, and then uh, dinner. And uh, went to dinner with the team, and it was, it was interesting. It was, a, you know, you think, oh, a bunch of guys, you know, this is going to be a real raucous time and everything. Hardly. It, it was almost like a religious event in a, in a sense. It's a, people were quiet, people were meditating, people were really thinking about what was going to happen. And um, so, you know, as we were, as we were leaving, uh, Bernie's, Bernie's, you know, everybody knew what was going on on campus. And Bernie said, you know, and this stuck with me, this is 20 some years later, he said, Athletics may not be the core part of the university, but it's the front porch. And when you think about that for a minute, you think about newspaper coverage, you think about the radio, now TV, uh, you know, all the radio coverage, Mitch was just here, you know, you, you think about it, that's what most people know about the university, is, is how the athletic programs are doing. And so, you know, I, I kind of digested that and everything. Next morning, team breakfast, um, get out there, go out on the field. Uh, at that time, there was no turf yet. Guys playing in the mud in the middle of the field. And uh, Bernie comes over to me and he says, watch this. He says, these guys just came out of the huddle. And he said, the, the quarterback's looking and he's seeing how the defense is lined up. And they're gonna do, he's gonna call an audible and it's gonna be a completely different play from what they just talked about. So everybody on the team is gonna go in a different direction than they were 
like 15 seconds ago. And so sure enough, boom, play comes off, scores a touchdown, comes over and he says, that's what happens when you work with smart players. You can do that kind of stuff. And so I walked away from that with, with a greater appreciation of, of what athletics meant, and especially what the athletes meant to the university. And clearly at that point, it was, it was that athletics needed to be supported as uh, we moved forward because it was the front porch of the university. So we changed some things up. Uh, some of the decisions were easy. Um, you know, improving facilities as best we could at the time. Some of them were, were exceedingly hard, especially when it came to making decisions about people. Never an easy thing to do, but oftentimes it just has to be done. And your athletes, you know how that works. That's where Suzanne came in. Suzanne uh, is probably the, one of the toughest women I know, besides maybe my wife. <laughs> and she is a person who has great empathy, but she knows where the program needed to go, knows where it is, knows where it's gonna go. And for that reason, it was really interesting to watch her with the coaches, with the coaches' staffs, with her staff, the trainers, just right down through the entire organization, how you pull that together and you make change happen. And for that, I was just really impressed would be one thing, but I was just so thankful to have someone like Suzanne who could really make stuff happen. And so, and by make stuff happen, it's not just wins and losses, but it was basically to put together programs that not only the university saw as worthy of investment, but that alumni and students saw as worthy of their investment. You know, you think about, you know, the university, you know, you put in some money and you can walk away and, you know, hope for the best, right? Well, you hope a little bit more than that. And alumni, you know, they want to support the program. The athletes, you know that they've got way more in this than just money. Uh, the scholarships that are given out are great, but they oftentimes are not nearly as much as, as they could be. And so for that reason, putting together programs that people want to invest in was critical. And that's why the athletic director, through the coaching staff, the trainers, everybody, are so important to this effort. So I'm really thankful, humbled that I had the position that I had to be able to support the programs. And I thank all of you for being here this evening. Thank you.